today is February 21st at 9.19 p.m. I picked these up today at 1972 Philly. We're going to look for some DDOs. Let me uh, open these out, pour them onto the table. I'll bring you back to show you the condition. And then we're going to put the camera on the tripod and we're going to hunt these together. See if we find something. It could be exciting. It could be boring. The other eight rolls of these that I got before ended up being nothing. Hopefully that's not the case today. But it's only one way to find out. We got to hunt them. Be right back. Well, they definitely look unk. Let's go through these. Hopefully, we'll find something cool. I'm going to take a second and go on to DoubleDye.com and Variety Vista to see if there's a DDR in these to look for. And I'll be right back. You guys won't know any different. All right. Here goes. Oh, there were no um, DDRs listed. I can go through these and look for errors or something like that afterwards. So today we'll just look for any DDOs. I mean, if nothing else, they're in great shape. At least the obverse are in great shape. It would be awesome to find one. Very abraded die here. That looks like machine doubling. Not seeing it. This one must have been an ender. seeing it I mean there could be cuds there could be all kinds of stuff strike throughs but our main objective is looking for the DDO Could have some clashing going on right in here. I'm not sure. Let's uh, flip it over. We'll see if we can notice anything. No, I don't really see much. Just looking to see if this was a Y right here, but I don't see it. Okay, I don't see anything on that one. This is that abraded die. Master hub doubling on this one. 
You'll see that on most of the 1972s. You'll see like the doubling at the top of the B and the R. The D. The E. That's on almost all of the 1972s. Nothing. Come on. Let's get lucky. Don't see anything there. Not a. And that's a big fat nope. 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 If anybody else sees anything that I miss, let me know. There are some double dies for the 1972 that are pretty insignificant, but if I miss it, let me know. If you think you see something after this video posts, <clears throat> I don't get rid of these coins. It'll go back in the same tube. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coins are really red, though. Nice shape. See, now this here is machine doubling. It looks cool, but it's not a variety. So right here, you can just see it's kind of chopped out. And this is kind of chopped out. It's a partial piece here chopped and then in here. You can see from here to here, the device is smaller. If it was from here to here and then a little bit down, that would be a double die. <clears throat> but this is just machine doubling and damage. Now, there are people who collect stuff like that. It seems to be <clears throat> getting increasingly more popular. I watch um, videos from Blue Ridge Silverhound, and it seems like more and more people are collecting the machine doubling. Maybe just because they like how it looks. I mean, that's kind of what collecting is all about: is you collect what you like. And maybe that's what's going on. Maybe they're not collecting it for the error, so to speak. Just maybe they like how it looks. I'm looking at the back of his head here. I don't know what that is. The die chip or damage. I don't see anything there. Nope. Come on. This will be the ninth roll of 1972s that I've purchased. With no luck. Which is funny for being... I mean, there's, a, there's quite a few double dies. for this date. And there's actually quite a few pretty strong double dies for this date. 
So these were probably picked through in the past. I'm not a big fan of these plastic tubes. Although if I was to get a brand new bankroll, they'd probably be a lot more money. <clears throat> You could probably still sell each one of these for a buck a piece. There's 50 pennies or cents per roll. I mean, you're looking at $50 for a $10 roll. Somebody wants a 1972 Philly in AU red condition for their album. Somebody will spend a buck on it. Could do like a 1972 and, I don't know, a 1960D. Do both of those for a buck. Or two dollars. A buck fifty. Maybe like a dollar shipping just so you don't have to eat the shipping. You could still make your money back. But I'm going to hold on to these for a while, at least. I could add some into giveaways. Here we go. That's not a double die. That's um, pretty good machine doubling. On a really nice condition coin. Anything else is machine doubled on here? No. But that one would probably sell for, I don't know, a few bucks. It's in nice condition. Can hold that one aside. <clears throat> Not a Some weird staining. Okay, nope. Nope. Why did I flip that? <laughs> nope. Nothing there. Not see anything there. There we go, another machine doubling. It's like the same one <clears throat> as the first machine doubling one that we saw. Machine doubling in Liberty. Nope. 
One more after this one. That one's in nice shape. No. Negative. All right. Well, there you have it. We tried. Gave it a shot. No luck today. There's always our next roll. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish we found something. We didn't. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. Tap that like button. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.